Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Patience. To my existing subscribers, welcome back. If this is your first time here, be sure to click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can continue to indulge in the Hot Bella experience. It is BoxyCharm time, you guys. And in today's video, you are actually going to get a twofer because I had not yet recorded my video for my February base box from BoxyCharm. And now I've gotten my March Boxy Lux box. So my thought is that I will go ahead and do this unboxing for both of these BoxyCharm boxes because my confusion for both of these boxes that I received are about equal. For the month of February, something happened. My BoxyCharm box did not come with an info card and it did not come with any type of palette or a complexion product or anything that I could use or even demo for you guys. So all of that was confusing for me because when I'm doing an unboxing, it is so helpful to have that info card right there so that way I can give you guys the product details. I can give you the cost of the products. It just makes everything much easier. But for the month of February, I got none of that. I still wanted to show these products to you because one of the products I have really grown fond of already. So so I definitely want to make you guys aware of this particular product and, and share some of my feedback that I have regarding this product already. And then we're going to move on to my March Boxylux box. There's not a demo portion in this video that shows me actually using the products that I got in my base box or in my March Boxylux box. But just so that you know, I did create this look using some of the products that came in either my February or my March Boxylux box. And I'll be certain to point those items out as I go through this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. So as I mentioned, there wasn't a physical info card or information card that came in my February BoxyCharm box. This is what I got. And this is just an email notification telling me, hey, here's your info card and here's all the information for the items that are inside of your February BoxyCharm box. Well, if you're anything like me, I don't necessarily check my personal email every day. So I didn't get this until about a week after I had received my box. Frustrating and confusing. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to keep going through this because there are some good items, but it was just a, a little bit confusing for me. So the first item that we're going to talk about is the Kate Somerville KX Active Concentrate Bio Mimicking Peptide Serum. And the info card says, Kate specially formulated the highly active concentrate to transform dull, sagging skin into visibly firmer, smoother, refreshed looking skin. After just one week, 97% of women reported their skin appeared visibly tighter. So this will be my first Kate Somerville product. This looks to be pretty interesting. I'm all about the skincare aspect of things. So this is what the actual product package looks like inside of the box. So very nice, will look very nice sitting on your vanity. There is one ounce of product and you can see this has the dropper type applicator. And I'm gonna take just a little bit of this and just put it here in the back of my hand, just a little bit. And this is not runny at all. It almost feels almost like a gel type of consistency, but not a thick gel, but, uh, but yeah. Feels really good on the skin. I'm looking forward to trying this out. Anything that's gonna tighten and firm and brighten my skin so that it doesn't look uh, dull and to keep it looking youthful, I'm all for that. So I'm super happy to have this Kate Somerville KS Active Concentrate Biomimicking Peptide Serum. And the retail cost for this product is $98. The next item is from Alamar Cosmetics and it's their Complexion Brush Trio. And this is what these brushes look like. They are really, really cute. I love, love, love this, what would you call this? Almost like a copper type of um, finish on these brushes, super nice. I also like the fact that they had the little protector on the bristles, but these are very nice, very soft brushes. We've gotten brushes from Alamar before in our BoxyCharm box, so I like their brushes quite a bit. There's some other products that we've gotten from them as well. Alamar is a good brand. I do like what they offer. So yeah, these are the brushes. And the info card states, this vegan and cruelty-free three-piece brush set comes complete with a complexion brush, bronzer brush and brightening brush. What's a brightening brush? But it comes with a brightening brush suitable for all skin types delivering a flawless finish. 
So I'm not sure what a brightening brush is. Maybe that would be the brush that you would use for setting your under eye area. Maybe that's what they're calling a brightening brush. But the retail cost for the Alamar Cosmetics Complexion Brush Trio is $36. The next item is from Touch and Soul. This is not the first time that we've gotten something from Touch and Soul in our BoxyCharm box. We have gotten several items from Touch and Soul. We've gotten the Touch and Soul No Pore Blum Primer, which I absolutely love. We also got a Touch and Soul Primer Essence Oil, which was really, really good as well. And now we have this, which is their Pretty Filter Glass Skin Balm. And this is what the actual product packaging looks like for this for this product and I am already in love with this product you guys. I have been using this every day. I've been using it on my skin when I wear makeup and also when I'm not wearing makeup and I love how it makes my skin look. It does give the skin a very youthful type of glow and I like that a lot. This is a cream based product so it's not oily. So this is what this product looks like. It's not oily at all. It is a cream and it does a wonderful job. I used it under my airbrush foundation today and it does. It just gives my skin just enough of a glow. Not overdone, but very, very nice. I love this product and I'm going to continue using it. And the retail cost for the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glass Skin Balm is $32. The next item is from First Aid Beauty and this is their facial radiance pads. And this is what the product packaging looks like for these pads. And the info card states that this is a daily treatment pad that contains the right amount of lactic and glycolic acids to safely and effectively exfoliate, tone, and brighten all skin types. Regular use of these pads will smooth the skin's texture, providing the perfect canvas for flawless makeup application. I like exfoliating. I think that there is definitely some skincare benefits in exfoliating, and I'm hoping that these are not going to be too harsh. The info card does say that it contains the right amount of the lactic and glycolic acids to safely and effectively exfoliate. So I'm hoping that that is true. And let's open this up. Good news is that it does have a safety seal on it. So I'm going to leave the safety seal on here, but I will come back and do a review on this product. I want to see how this compares to some of the other products I currently have in my skincare collection. So yeah, we're going to try this out. This is the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pad and the retail cost is $16. And the last item that came in my February base box from BoxyCharm is the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Correcting Primer Energize and Rescue product. So this is what the packaging of this product looks like. And this is a 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. And I will say this right off the bat. I have a little bit of concern or I am a bit leery of a product that claims to do too much. So this is a 4-in-1 correcting product of all things. I'm not sure if that's meaning color correcting or not, but let's let's see what the info card says here. The 4-in-1 Correcting Primer Energize and Rescue will become your must-have beauty tonic and primer for your best and worst skin days. Packed with good for you skin ingredients such as probiotics, aloe, caffeine, and coconut water, this primer helps smooth and soothe your skin. So, okay, so that's a little bit different than what I was expecting. When this was saying a four in one correcting primer, I was under the impression that that, that meant color correcting. So I'm glad that that's not the case. <laughs> I'm glad that that's not the case because I was about to say this product would defy color theory altogether if this was a four in one color correcting type of product, but that's not what it is. This is a correcting product as it's going to help soothe and smooth your skin. So that's what it's correcting. So yeah, so this is an interesting product. This is from Pure and the retail cost is $17. So just in case you guys were curious, I got variation 55 in my February base box and I added up the cost of all of the products that are in the box and the total cost for all the items that came in my February base box from BoxyCharm is $199. We all know that I paid substantially less than $199 for this box. And just in case you guys don't know, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription. So if you'd like to sign up and start receiving your own BoxyCharm box, I will leave a link in the description box below. You can use that or you can visit www.boxycharm.com and you can start receiving your own box. And now let's get into unboxing.
unboxing my March Boxy Lux box from Boxy Charm. So the Boxy Lux box is an upgrade from the normal monthly Boxy Charm base box <laughs> that I get in the mail. So this is going to be a little bit higher end or a little bit more expensive products that are going to be in this box. And as part of my confusion with my March box is the fact that I have no info card at all inside of this box. There is no info card. And I didn't get anything in my personal email either to give me detailed product information or cost for these individual items. So I'm gonna to have to look them up. I'm gonna to have to work a little bit harder, but you know what? That's okay because honestly, all of the products that I get in my BoxyCharm box, they far exceed the monthly cost that I'm spending or the subscription cost that I'm spending for the box itself. So if I have to put in a little work, then that's okay. But BoxyCharm, I really would like for you guys to fix that if you don't mind, please. If you would just make certain that I get some type of info card, if it's a physical card in the box or via email, either way would work fine with me. But I would like to get a little bit more information if that's okay with you. Thank you. So the first item that we're going to talk about that came in my BoxyLux box is from PMD. And this is the Clean Smart Facial Cleansing Device. And what this is, this is a smart facial cleansing device that provides a deep cleanse and visibly lifts, firms, and tones the look of problems problem areas. This is good for normal dry combination and oily skin types. And this addresses skin concerns such as pores, acne, blemishes, and loss of firmness and elasticity. And something else that you may want to know about this device, this device features 7,000 vibrations per minute and bristles gentle enough for all skin types. This cleansing device cleanses deeply and removes the look of skin's impurities by breaking down dirt and oil from within the pores. It uses ultra hygienic silicone and is odor resistant, antibacterial, hypoallergenic, and waterproof. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is the cleansing device. This came with the battery in it. This takes a AA battery and there is a little button right here. If you can see that, I hope you can see that but you press this little button to turn this on and it just vibrates. But uh, yeah, it just vibrates and you would use this to cleanse your face, release all that dirt and debris that might be clogging your pores. And yeah, it'll work out just perfect. So super glad to have this. Oh, and it has different settings. Interesting. Very interesting. So very, very nice. And the retail cost for the PMD Clean Smart Facial Cleansing Device is $99. And this next item is from Spongelay, Spongel, Spongelay, I think it's Spongelay. And this is in this fragrance of Frisha Pear, and this is a multi-use body wash infused buffer. We received one of these in a previous box, and I've used it and it smelled really good, but to be really honest with you, I stopped using it after about two uses. I don't know why, <laughs> but for some reason, uh, after the second use, um, it, it wasn't appealing to me anymore. I didn't like the fact that it was just sitting out in the open in my shower. I'm sure that there was really no worries in terms of bacteria and things like that, but for some reason, I just, I just really, wasn't drawn to this particular product, but it does smell really, really good. On the Spongele website, it says these buffers with built-in body wash are infused with extracts of yuzu, idlewise, and vetiver root to cleanse, exfoliate, massage, and hydrate the skin for a spa-like pampering experience at home. Each sponge creates a scented lather that endures for at least 14 plus washes, showers after shower. So. It's really cute, and like I said, it smells really good, but it seems to be a good product. It's just not one of my favorites. But yeah, this came in the March Boxy Lux box, and the retail cost of the Spongel Freesia Pear Beyond Cleansing Body Wash Infused Buffer is $16. These next two items are from Sol de Janeiro, and one of them is the Bum Bum Cream, and the other is the Coco Cabana Cream. And for the most part, these 
two products are very similar. They are both known to hydrate the skin, but I believe this Bum Bum Cream has a firming type of property in it. Both of these products can be used for normal, oily combination, dry and sensitive skin. This one is designed to resolve your problems if you encounter dryness, dullness and uneven texture, and the loss of firmness and elasticity. And for the Coco Cabana Cream, this one is to address issues or concerns with dryness, dullness, and uneven texture. So like I said, these are very similar. The only difference is that this one is going to have that firming type of property or agent in it. But both of them are very hydrating, very good for the skin, and they smell so yummy. But the retail cost for both of these products would be $40 because these are the mini sizes. So they would be $20 for each one. So yeah. $40 for these two products from Sol de Janeiro. The next item is from Becca and this is their Skin Love Glow Glaze Stick. And what this product is, it is an ultra sheer highlighting balm enriched with Becca's Glow Nectar Brightening Complex to create a dewy glow. This is like a post facial glow in a stick. The ultra sheer translucent highlighter imparts a dewy glass like sheen on the skin. It's enriched with Becca's Glow Nectar Brightening Complex, Bitter Ginger, and Cold Pressed Avocado and Melon Blend for healthier looking, more radiant skin. One universal shade creates a glass-like ethereal glow on all skin tones. Something else that Sephora thinks that you should know about this product is that it is infused with all of Becca's Skin Love products. Glow Nectar Brightening Complex Blend of, of powerful actives and natural ingredients help brighten, hydrate, and soothe the skin over time to support your natural glow. So this is a really interesting product. This also reminds me of some products that I have tried before very similar to this. For example, um, I believe it's Pat McGrath has a skin fetish type of product that's similar to this. It's, it, it's this balm type of uh, product, but you would take this and you would rub this on your face, on your skin, and it would give you that glow from within type of look. So I would use this under my foundation. I don't know how this would play on top of a powder, so I would probably use it under my foundation and then maybe put, uh, I'm not even sure if I would put a powder on top of this, but this will be interesting to play with. Maybe I'll do a look and I will come back and use this product specifically. Uh, maybe even compare it to the Pat McGrath skin fetish uh, product that I have in my collection that's very similar to this, just to see how it compares or stands up against other products. And the retail cost for the Becca Skin Love Glow Glaze Stick is $28. This next item is from NARS and this is their Power Matte Lip Pigment and when I tell you this lip product is matte. It is matte but the good thing is that it's not super super drying. I may end up having to put a little bit of lip gloss over top but overall the formula is quite comfortable. But what this is, is this is an innovative weightless matte lip pigment with ultra flexible lasting wear. This is really, really cute packaging. And my in my box, I got this in the shade Lowrider. So it's a very, very pink shade, but it is perfect for spring and summer. And I think I like this. This, this is looking pretty good. But yeah, this packaging is really cute. The Power Matte Lip Pigment is infused with liquefied pigments with infinite matte color saturating for lasting weightless wear. The custom doe foot applicator provides effortless, precise application and full coverage in one swipe. The doe foot is a little bit different, not super fond of it, but it is different. It's sensorial lightweight texture applies like ink on your lips, and then it dries down instantly to lock in color for smudge resistant, carefree wear. Impart any lip look with shades that flatter all skin tones from neutral to bold to suit any occasion. That's true. Now that I read this, it did have a different type of consistency than what I was used to when I applied it. But they're saying that that is intentional, that it is supposed to apply like ink on your lips. And that's very true. It does. And the retail cost for the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment is $26.
This next item is a gel eyeliner from Appeal, and it says that this liner can be used either on the eyes or on the lips. I used it on my lips today, and the retail cost for the Appeal gel eyeliner is $21. This is really expensive for a gel liner, $21. But yeah, this is what this looks like. It's a very soft uh, pink type of color. So just give a little something there but not too bad but yeah retail cost is $21 and this next item is from Sutra Beauty and this is the mini ceramic curling iron with a cool tip so yeah this is a curling iron and I'm normally not one to go out and make specific choices when it comes to the items that I get in my boxy Luxe or boxy charm box. I kind of like to be surprised, so I don't go out and you know select different things that I want. I just kind of hang out and see what it is that I'm going to get. I may have to change that because I probably won't be using this. Um, the retail cost for this curling iron is $16, and it's a good price for a mini curling iron, and I'm sure that it's awesome to travel with. But you guys know I wear wigs, so if I want curly hair, I'm gonna purchase a wig that has curly hair. I don't necessarily like putting heat on my wigs or on my natural hair. So maybe I'll put this in a giveaway. But yeah, this is the Sutra Mini Ceramic Curling Iron and the retail cost is $16. This next item is an eyeshadow palette that I think has been curated specifically for BoxyCharm. And this is called the Hello Charmer eyeshadow palette. And I used this palette to create this look today. And I was so concerned about this palette. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the majority of the shades in this palette are extreme shimmer shades, or even I would go as far as to say that they are glitter type of eyeshadows. There are a few mattes, like you've got this one here, this called Cup of Joe. You've got Spoiler, which is a matte, and you also have Premium, which is a matte, and Unboxing, and Boxy is a matte as well. So I guess it's about half and half, but still I was so concerned because you guys know that I have hooded eyes, so I do like adding shimmer or glitter on my lid, but I was like, wow, I don't have a shade in here that I can use as a transition shade. I'm not sure how this is going to work. So what I did was I tried using the shades in this palette with no base on my eyes at all. That did not work. The shades did not show up on my eyes at all. It was just, I mean, I'm not quite sure what was happening, but it was really, really hard for me to get good color payoff without having some type of base. Also, I want to say that for these glitter shades, I had to use my silicone applicator. I think the shimmer shades in this palette is designed more so for those who would use their fingers to apply their eyeshadow. I don't like using my fingers to apply makeup to my face, so I tried using my brush, just a regular brush. It picked up nothing on the brush. But the shades are really pretty. Just keep in mind that you will have to use your fingers if you want to get the best color payoff for these shimmer shades. And the matte shades in this palette, they are really dusty. Um, to build them up, you do have to go in quite a bit to build them up. And when I say they're dusty, they're dusty to the point where when you're trying to blend out that transition shade, you kind of get this miscellaneous eyeshadow that kind of goes all over the place. So. It's a pretty palette, and I can appreciate the fact that BoxyCharm has curated their own eyeshadow palette, you know, to extend their brand in that area for this specific type of product. I can appreciate that. But again, um, it's one of those palettes where for me to use it, it's definitely going to be a companion palette. It's not something that I can just use on its own, even though today I did create this look using just this palette in a turn as much as I want to say that I think the look turned out really pretty but uh, I think I may have gotten lucky because again with some of these shades um, I would really have to dig into maybe another palette to come up with a transition shade but let's swatch these real quickly that's boxy that's charmer that's full size that's exclusive spoiled and looks the colors are really pretty but you do get quite a few shimmers in here and i think that they just perform better when you're using your finger that's unboxing sneak peek 
me build that up a little bit more. Premium. This is the really strange, or this is the really unique shade in here. This is called Swipe Up, and this is one of those gel glitter type of uh, eyeshadows. I am wearing that uh, in the inner portion here of this eye look. It's really pretty once you get it on. But uh, I did have to use my silicone applicator, as I mentioned before, because trying to use this shade or the majority of these shades, any of the shimmer or the glitter shades with a brush just does not work. But yeah, this is Swipe Up. That's Pop Up. And that's Cup of Joe. So this is what this eyeshadow palette looks like in swatching it. And again, right, the shades or the colors look really pretty, but you're going to have to use your finger. And um, there's not too many shades that you can use as a transition shade if you are of a uh, warmer or darker skin tone. So yeah, it's a nice palette. And the retail cost for this palette is $13. So, um, and again, I used this palette today. This look turned out really pretty, but again, it took a little work and I had to use my silicone applicator. So those are all the items that came in my March Boxylux box. And I totaled up the cost for all of the items that came in this box. And the total cost for all the items is $231. Again, we all know that I paid substantially less for my upgrade to the Boxylux box. So yeah, I feel like I'm definitely getting a good deal uh, by carrying on or continuing on with my BoxyCharm subscription. I'm still going back and forth on whether or not I want to upgrade my base box to the Boxy Premium. Not sure. I'm trying to hold on to my base box just to kind of save, uh, you know, save some money. And I'm happy for the most part with the boxes that I get. But again, I need those info cards, BoxyCharm. Come on, give me the info cards. Either make certain that we get them inside of our box or make sure that we get the email that has the product details and the cost for the products in the subscription boxes. That would be most helpful. Also, I hope you guys like this look. What do you think about this look? This is very shiny. This is very shimmery. But I think for spring and summer, it's not too bad. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you guys think. So I hope you guys like this video. And if you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.